Hey there, fellow Tarnished, <clears throat> both foul and fair. Thank you for uh, tuning back in, if you want to put it that way, for the uh, playthrough of Elden Ring. I'm Stubbs the Wizard, your host, and in this playthrough we're playing through as a stealth mage. There he is, and he's a stealth mage in this iteration of him. And I'm going to actually, I think I got enough to level up. Yeah, I do. So we'll level up mine some more. We can adjust these later as needed. But you can see there he's a pure mage, intelligence 99. And I've got to dump stats in other places. Uh, the idea behind this character is that he is only allowed to use the night spells you can see there also known as invisibility sorceries the dual wield staves of loss he has really power this build with a whopping 69 percent bonus to magic damage and then this is the black knife armor which looks stealthy and it's thematically appropriate i'll change this back to Image, there's my talismans. Alright, so we are going to get on over to there. And I'm going to end, end this playthrough with um, killing Moog. Well, not, well, yeah, not this. Um, Episode, but this playthrough, this playthrough will not end with beating the game. Uh, let's see here. Uh, the reason being is that I want to do the DLC while keeping Melon alive. And I had a, uh, a subscriber comment. I had been talking to him earlier about the plans and he had recommended or indicated on his playthrough he's going to keep Melon alive to see what happens if that changes any dialogue, like for instance, if we meet the Glow Mind Queen or something like that. Don't know that it'll change anything, but I thought that's a good idea. And I thought also not only that, but I'll change, uh, I will keep, um, Millennia alive as well. So, thanks Dan Wolf for that suggestion. I'm taking it, and I'm not sure, I'm not saying it will change anything in the DLC, but I know with the DLC, uh, it looks like you have to have killed Radon, and I'm not, I'm not sure what else, but we'll see what happens. Now you might be saying, hey, you're doing melee with that Misericord and this this character is not supposed to be doing melee. But that's where you'd be wrong because I don't define critical hits as melee. Oops. The reason being is that I like doing critical hits, really. I actually should have taken them all far with the comet. That was really a dumb play on my part. Oh. You're so acrobatic. Now you're so dead. Oh, I got his blood clot. How glorious. So that was a. Uh, I should have just used my not comet. 
but I didn't because I'm a dill weave. I'll use it here though. Still missed them. I missed both of them. You know, this would suck if this affected you like Scarlet Rot. Alright. I should need to heal because the uh, Riker's Rune heals me every little bit. Every kill that I make. So the thing about the DLC is we don't know That's where I came down, okay. This is an ambush. See, you can see their heads sitting there. So here's what I'm gonna do. I see your heads sitting there, people. Somebody else's head sitting right there. Oh shoot. Well, I didn't get that guy. Don't know what he had. I should probably... I'll come back and get it after I get up to Moog. I can do that another time. Message of praise. So here's all these guys playing Ring Around the Rosie. I just took out a whole bunch of them right there. Oh, you see, he's got pitch slapped. Boom. All right, there's there's some more. Let's see if I take out three of them. Uh, won't probably be, be quite three. That oh, was one. Great. That's the nice thing about night common, it goes through everybody. It will only stop once it reaches uh, its uh, final distance. Oh, I hit the first guy right in the face. That's awesome. Yeah, it'll only stop when it hit uh, when it goes as far as it can go, or uh, terrain that is impassable. Notice as it hits people, it, it, it keeps going through them. Oh, I missed the second guy. Ghost Glove Ward 8. Anybody else in here? Guess not. Swarm of Flies. This character will not use that. Because it causes damage and it is not an invisibility sorcery. We'll come back around that way. So up in there there's uh, these guys that some of great big creatures. Uh, they're sitting so I cannot get them both at once. So we'll do one at a time.
<clears throat> Smith and Stones, Golden Rooms. There's some more treasure. I wonder what my mimic here is doing. See how that works? I meant my mimic tier is just taking it easy. Um, there we go. Yeah, I lost. Oh, here's some people. Both of these guys. <laughs> He's getting slapped in the schnoz. Nice to know that my tears, pestilent mist, does not affect me. We're getting on down through here. I think this is where we came from. Yeah, that's where we came from. So we'll get up on the other side here. Another another guy hanging around. Oh, there's two. More than two. This is this is a Albanaric convention. There we got them both. That was a skill shot right there. All right. Now, we don't want to head up in this wooded area yet. Because there's a... Shoot. I don't know why my mimic tear just went away. Um, there's people that shoot lasers. Suits over here. There's another, some more treasure. Well, there should be three invasions like that. Invader vanquished. You can actually cheese uh, that guy by jumping off a cliff somewhere. I don't really know how to do it, though, exactly. I don't really care to. What is this? Blood-tainted <laughs> excrement. That's gross. Someone was having irritable bowel syndrome and had uh, had blood in their stool. That's not very fun. Oh. Hmm. I 
we can't get up there. Can we get a horse here? Oh, we can. That helps. There's dogs up here. Where's the other white mask? I wonder there he is. The message was a prize. Run away. And follow me from a safe distance. Commit to hitting me. You should not have slowed down, sir. That was your big mistake. Now we should have one more nameless white mask come after us. Which will wind up giving us the uh, uh, surgeon set. That's the bird we usually get to jump off the ledge. Probably should have done that. Hooray for ranged combat. I don't think I can reach him. We'll try, though. I did. Uh, let's see here. Another dog up there. See, I wonder. I'm kind of wondering what will cause that next uh, um, invasion. Two thousand two hundred. Uh oh, did not see that bird. Well, that's problematic. This is why I don't mess around down in this area too much. Did not even see that bird. Now here's the thing. I played these games long enough. I'm gonna cheese this one so I can don't have to worry with them. I played these games long enough um, that I should have recognized that. As a Miyazaki ambush, they got the treasure just laying out there in plain sight and just saying, hey, come get me. Nothing to fear here. I should have had the presence of mind to look around at the, uh, look around the area. You got rid of that bird. Yeah, I should I should look around the area and said, oh, the the dude is up up in a tree. I should have known better. But that's the mastery of Miyazaki. 
get you to not think like that. ahead and get my rune back on. I got three of them. Okay, we can go through all this again. With the rune active, it'll heal me up, so no biggie. We're going to go immediately into the other area. We still have one white mask to invade us yet. This guy set back down. Hello, sir. Another message. Um, a phrase. That's good. It's nice thing the uh, message appraisals um, help your health. There's a hand sticking up. Some of these got ruined. Boom. There's a head of that head of one of those birds that killed me last time. Alright, bye mimic tier. I don't. Was that the bird that attacked me? I don't even know it's over here. A dog. Oh shoot. I don't remember this area at all. You know, no birds after me. Now, this is one of those times where you need to resign yourself that you're probably going to lose all your runes that you just had. Uh, well, I think there's nobody here but the dog. Arterial leaf. Don't have a use for that. I want to try to avoid this bird. Or is there 
I, I still thought there was a bird I missed. The jump down, but maybe maybe it was that bird right there. Nope, there's the bird right up there. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to concede defeat. And make it so I don't lose my 121,000 runes. I'm going to make a run for these runes. Oh, you know what? I, I should do this. I'm going to That's what I want to do. There now he can't hear me nor see me. And I've got to hurry up and get my runes. He is right there. How is he seeing me? I did not let me get my runes. Oh my gosh, that is preposterous. So next time I'm just going to run up. I'm just going to run up and get my runes. Total waste of the talisman. We'll put another one in place. Oh, it actually doesn't matter because I lost, I lost all those runes anyway. So it winds up not mattering. But that's what you gotta do. You gotta just uh, sort of steal yourself that you just, you're gonna lose several hundred thousand runes. All right, now I gotta watch out for the guys behind me. Actually, I'm going to end this right here since I lost all those runes. Um, so what I'd like to do is invite you to look at the description. And there's something I'm in called the Free Time Creators Collective. We're a group of creators that um, we have, well, we record gameplay. And we have a Discord channel uh, link in the description, as well as some links to the OG, some of the OG channels. And uh, you know, look at it, give them a like, uh, see what you think. Subscribe to me if you want. Leave comments. And as this video, I'd appreciate a like and subscribe if you would. And leave comments. I like engagement with everybody. And uh, you know, I'll get through all the comments really appreciate it and uh i thank you for watching as long as you keep watching them i'll keep making them thanks